Today, I learnt the word anchorite. Someone who has withdrawn from the world by choice, stolen themselves away from the noise, from the sight of the thicket of faces. Today, I am an anchorite. I have heaved the heavy anchor from its jostling depths and run to the ripple, to the creak of the ropes and the rigging, which speak their joining stories to the flash of a kingfisher's wing. The seagulls are my critics. The salted breeze, my silent audience, which whispers, not applauds, and I welcome it. The river is thick with silted stories, each rope woven with the hands which intertwine it with these age-ringed timbers, centuries of fingers prizing and binding, working to the bidding of the tide, living as flux, ducking and weaving to the jig of the jib. Today, the anchorite finds gentle rhythms here in ebbs and flows and scattered dances which flit across the water's face. Lines written by fish sighs and boughs which scribble their rudder written course in their wake, read by the skies which look down smiling. Today is a piece of Chronicles past. The present, the direction of the mainsail and mast. The future, the certainty of shift which even the anchorite must face, regardless of its place set apart. Even today, the tide must change.